Hi guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Uh, today I'm doing a flip through of my A6 disc setup um, in, for March 2022, no, 2023, right? <laughs> um, I made this myself. I just sort of laminated some, honestly, it's printer paper, and then I put a, a layer of contact paper on the back of it to make it slightly thicker um, because all I had was three mil laminator sheets um, because my five mil ones are still stuck in our storage unit somewhere because we moved anyway. Um, this is the setup, like I said, I just DIY'd it and uh, I have been in here since February, I think. I was working on it in January um, and it's working out for me so far. Uh, so I'm gonna show it to you today. Um, we'll just sort of jump right in. This is like a free scrapbooking um, printable that I used. I guess it's for digital scrapbooking. Oh, these are some notes. I don't know why I put it in the front here. Um, I'm putting together a separate like homeschooling binder because I'm planning on homeschooling in the fall. So these are some notes of the things I wanted to include in that. And I've started on that. I will, I'm sure, be telling you all about that coming up. Stay tuned, like, and subscribe. Um, first thing in here is this Level 10 Life insert. Um, this is insert uh, 05 in the GangiePlans.com shop. Um, I just every so often like to take stock of where I feel like I am in different levels and areas of my life. I finally unpacked the last box uh, of our move like yesterday. Um, so I feel like now might be a good time to reevaluate this um, because it's definitely feeling like a huge weight lifted um, just to have everything, you know, out at least. Then I have this set of monthly resolutions. The idea with this one, which is insert 11, is instead of making one New Year's resolution to make like a goal for each month. Um, and so, yeah, we're this this month's goal. I still have a couple of days left to complete it, but I have I need to file our tax return. That was what was the goal for the month. Um, then this is the 52 weeks future log. I use this for planning like my focus project for any given week of the year. Um, and so what I did is I kind of scribbled down um, the things that are coming up for us. So I need to do the tax return by mid-April, obviously. We have a birthday party to plan by the 22nd. And then, um, oh yeah, I wanted to have the living room unpacked before Easter. Um, here, we are right here right now as I'm filming. So things are gonna get busy and that means I really need to prioritize these things. Um, this we're like wrapping up today, I think. Um, or just about done. I need to work on the tax return and the birthday party. I've just been putting it off. Third kid, first birthday. Um, this is my monthly, uh, what do they call it? Monthly habits or whatever, or no, recurring tasks, monthly recurring tasks, uh, insert 63. So this is things that just have to happen on sort of a rotating basis or else just things I want to remember the last time I did them. So things like changing the sheets, um, cleaning the dishwasher or whatever. Um, and so I come back to this frequently um, and I try to look at it before and after I do my monthly planning also. Um, there's a couple things that are highlighted, like months that are highlighted that I'm gonna need to do things in that month. Otherwise, um, yeah, I just kind of like check the last time it was done and I know when it needs to be done again. Um, my daughter drew this for me and I like it when she makes small pictures for me because they fit in my planner. This is another version sort of of this where individual tasks can happen on any kind of rotating basis. And I use this for mostly for car maintenance stuff. So my husband did my oil change and I noted when that happened. And then we have our monthlies, um, January, February, and so, okay, so this is the issue with the discs and just print, this printer paper is that they are constantly kind of falling out. And I feel like the thing with like a happy planner has a thicker paper that stays put better, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, so I put the divider tab that says month on it where my current month is instead of at the beginning of January because if I then use the tab to find the month section, then I would always start in January. I figured it makes more sense to have it where I actually need it. Um, and then that I have them printed out um, and just not decorated yet because I like to do a monthly plan with me video. That will be next week's, by the way, um, all the way through December. Then this tab is for plans as in like a future log. Um, this is, it was supposed to be like things to get done every week, but the only thing I have on here is one thing. So anyway, 
This guy is a freebie in the shop, insert 74, um, which is the church calendar, you know, the Catholic church calendar, and it tells you like when Easter is and whether, um, you know, it's a holy day of obligation or whatever. Um, this is my school calendar, my, my daughter's school calendar. Um, she goes to a, you know, preschool, formal preschool that has a calendar with days off and stuff, so I have that just folded up in here. And I don't show it to you on camera. Uh, this is birthdays and anniversaries and the year that it happened, so I know like how old everybody is. Then far future is anything that's beyond the current calendar year. Then um, after this is like the planning like dailies and weekly set um, like layouts. And so I have them all still in here from the beginning of when I set this planner up. And I feel like I'm going to run out of disk space at some point and need to empty them out. Um, and that won't be an issue. So I've got, yeah, January. Um, here's some weekly. So I guess this was mid-January was the first week that I was in here. Uh, then I was just doing weeklies then. Oh, because I had dailies in the back. February weeklies. Um, this is, oh, I forgot to tell you. This is insert 66. This two pages spread. Then this one is insert 28, which has the faux Dutch doors, uh, which is fun. And I just sort of oh, I hated this color scheme. Used this one for a while. I like to move around into different weeklies and I'll stick in one for about a month or two and then I'll move to another. Um, there we go. And then this is the layout I'm currently in. I did a weekly plan with me video of this one and I really like how it turned out. So this is insert 68, which has the, you know, the days of the week, two columns for dailies and then just extra um, to do space and note space on the sides. Then we've got the week after. I'm not as huge of a fan of how this turned out. It just feels too uh, kitschy or something. The colors are really aggressive. Anyway, then this is the week that I just am finishing up right now. And I have not yet done my planning for the week after. So that's what it looks like blank. Um, I'm going to print out one more in here and have this next week is like the week before. Yeah, the week before Palm Sunday. And then this week will be uh, Holy Week. And that will be a weekly plan with me video. So that'll be like in two weeks from now or something like that. Um, and then I think after that, I'm going to move on to another layout. This is an extra, extra couple of weeklies that I had printed out and didn't use but they're still in here in case I want them. I guess I could always just do that. Um, and then these were some dailies. So they're all kind of in the same section here. Um, I was just sort of using a daily when I felt like I needed one. And I haven't been, I've been incorporating the dailies into my um, weekly spread lately, which I kind of prefer because switching back and forth between them, like flipping around in here too much, I kind of don't care for. So I like to be able to leave it out um, so if I'm doing like an in-depth daily, I really like this um, cleaning daily, which is insert 48 for like a really in-depth day where I have, feel like I have a lot of things to do, especially around the house. Um, if I'm out of the house a lot, I like to have a time ladder. So some of those like um, in-depth type um, hardcore granule planning, I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, no, I just have some more of these. Oh, these are project dailies. Um, often I will use these actually as a weekly, and so I've been meaning to eventually work this up into a weekly spread um, that'll be available in the shop when it releases, whenever that is. And then these little stickies are also dailies from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, so I've got just like this guy here is for today. If I'm using a daily, I put this on the day, and then I have this one for week, um, which is whatever week I'm currently on. So those move around all the time. Then um, these tabs definitely get used to. Home has tasks around the house. And as a stay at home mom, this is basically everything. Any kind of task is pretty much on here. Um, I've been using this Eisenhower matrix, which is insert five, I think, something like that. I don't know if that sounds right. It's uh, early on, I released this right away, um, to give you, to give me a feel of like, so these are the urgent, important tasks that I should be focusing on. And these are the 
not urgent and not important tasks that I can put off, but would still feel good to check off. So they're still there. I'm not like delegating a lot of the stuff. Like that's the idea is that you do these, you um, schedule these, you delegate these, and you don't do these. <laughs> But I just kind of like to have it categorized. I don't know. I've been trying it out. It's been working. And then this is my cleaning schedule. I think the last time I showed you this, I was just setting it up for my March monthly plan with me. Um, and it's been working. I just sort of check off. These are like daily tasks that I'd like to kind of keep on top of. Um, and I've been doing really well this last week, which is crazy. And then this is like a focus room. I want to try to just go through and just like focus on one room at a time. Finish the whole thing and then move on. So I'm almost done with the living room. Um, and I also sort of did the dining room at the same time because they're like right in next to each other. So it kind of happened. Um, I guess the only thing I have to do in the dining room is mop the floor. And the only thing I have to do in the living room is organize the shelf. That feels daunting. But I think once I get started, it wouldn't be too bad. This is February's cleaning schedule. So this was the prototype the first time I did it. Um, and that kind of gave me an idea of what I was doing. And I'm just going to keep setting it up, I think, the way I did for March. Then the meal section, I'm here all the time too. Um, I tried to order just one four by six. I only needed one four by six for my wall, but they wouldn't let me only order one. So I ordered two and I cut half an inch off of it. And here it is. Um, and then this is my meal plan insert. I'm very proud of this. I really love it. Insert 27 in the shop. So uh, this is basically a list of everything I have ingredients for. Everything that doesn't have a checkbox in the middle column means I still have the ingredients for it. Um, and then I, you can put like a schedule or you can just kind of pick and choose whenever you need to make something. Um, this is kind of a, it starts looking messy once I reach the end of it, but um, cause I'm gonna have to start doing like a, a major meal planning sit down. At some point I still have some pork chops. I have some sausages. Oh, I have stuff still, still to make curry and chili. I have that like almost always on hand. And then we can do tuna melts for Friday this week. This insert is new, as in it's not even in the shop yet. Um, insert 75, or it will be, which is a meal list. And basically it sort of is an accompaniment to this. The idea is I'm going to put the, um, like all of the ingredients, the recipes that I make a lot with notes on them and like what is included in them so that I don't have to keep pulling out my recipe book. I can have just like the quick and dirty what you need to shop for part of the recipe with a couple other bits of data like how long it keeps. That's what these circles are for. Three means it's shelf stable. How many it feeds, how long it takes to cook, um, how much it costs per serving, which I don't really have the data for, but I feel like it could be useful and then plan with like these two recipes both include this particular vegetable and so I should plan them next to each other so I can you know use that before it goes bad that kind of thing um and then yeah I have some extra meal plan inserts in here for when I'm ready to do more and then I have the old ones too because I find I, I used to only keep a couple in there like you know maybe last week's but not before that but then I realized I actually really find them inspirational to like, go back and see what did I cook recently um did we you know I forget what we can have and when you're sitting down to plan a meal uh it helps just be able to flip back and go oh yeah okay we had that and that oh yeah I forgot that I made that and it was really good and everyone liked it so I should make that again so this says reference, I don't feel like making a new label for it. It's kind of more projects, miscellaneous, whatever. So I have some like mini projects. I need to go in and get um, the A6 size of the Peanuts Planner Co insert I always use for my smaller projects. I just didn't do that yet um, because I was, I was out of the house when I was doing this planning. But these are some smaller projects that I wanted to just sort of write down the things to. Cause like I kept putting dentist appointments on my weekly and it wasn't getting done. So I felt just like putting, listing the actual steps as individual tasks would help. And so I just have that in one place. Anyway, this here is a fold out pocket that I made. It works. It's fine. I don't need that anymore. It's not uh, St. Patrick's Day anymore. I just have a couple like stickers in there. My daughter's picture, a blank check, um, 
I should put some stamps in here. I think I had a little piece of, yeah, tiny little piece of a broken nail file because I obsess about rough edges on my nails. So it's always nice to know I have one handy. Um, and then we've got, yes, yeah, so these are, like I said, project pages. So these are all of the tax documents I need to collect for our return. Um, these are some notes about content planning and like how far out I have things scheduled for. Um, and then these are, these are some ideas that I had for when I was setting this planner up. Um, I might not, oh no, that's not right. These are insert ideas for creating inserts. So these are some of the ideas I have in the pipe if you wanted to, you know, take a freeze frame and see what's coming up. I'm always open to suggestions too. And then this is um, my like content schedule so that when I'm looking at my calendar, it's just like a quick thing. Um, this here is secret. And then this is another bookmark for um, the current project I'm working on. So I can move this to wherever the current project is. So I have it set to my the Easter baskets I'm playing right now, but I think I should probably put it in front of the tax return. Because the Easter basket thing is on a roll now and is going to get done. Um, but that was just some ideas. Um, this is actually the um, stocking stuffers insert from the Christmas bundle, which is uh, it's 51, I want to say. Um, anyway, and instead I just put stickers over the header and these were, yeah, what the three baskets will look like and this is what the egg stuffing will be. And then, um, sort of a list, what is this? A to-do list. What's going on there? Dude, I, no, I did this. Eh, I just messed it up. These are some notes from a marriage workshop thing that we went to. Um, this closed sizes insert I haven't really used a lot and it doesn't get updated very often just by design. But this is just so that I know what size my kids clothes are. Um, and there we go. Then library books. Oh, I need to fill this out. We just checked out a few more. Um, we did return this one. So I just like to keep track of the library books we have out and when they're due, they do auto renew and the library here has like 10 renewals. So due dates are almost a moot point, but I don't want to forget how many we have um, so that I have a list to go back to without having to like log into my account to find out um, what will need to be returned at some point. Then um, gift ideas I have not filled out. That's just for other people. Um, and then uh, yeah, same as the um, the full size photo from Walmart's photo center. This was from my HP Sprocket, and sometimes my HP Sprocket just double prints things for no good reason. So that is a picture of my son. He is a cutie. More Peanuts Planner Co. sticky notes. Uh, we have grid and checklist. Useful. Then um, oh yeah, mileage estimates. I need to call our car insurance because that's renewing. And then these are all insert seventy, which is the mini notes. These, you can obviously punch them however, um, you know, for your ring or whatever. And these are actually each half of a pocket rings size insert. So you can fit them in there, but you can also obviously fit them in any old size, punch them however you like. Um, and they're just little like note cards and I put them wherever if I don't need a full page of space um, to jot something down and then I can move it where I need to. Um, you know, shopping list. They have little, you know, headers on them save for later. And so that's, yeah, that's also in my shop. Uh, this was a, okay, this, this was the list of things that I was adding to the planner. This really doesn't need to be back here in the notes section because this is supposed to be just blank paper. Um, but I needed to draw out the font that I was using to update the uh, Wi-Fi info. And then what's on the back here? Oh, this is some math. I was trying to overthink cutting the tabs and I eventually just bit the bullet and did it. Um, so this is all the setup, but I think I'm, I'm done with this one. Then I just have some extra grids, grid pages in here, oh, an extra Eisenhower matrix, and I just try to keep a few extra um, note pages in here so that I can create a new, uh, what's it called, collection whenever I need to. And that is the whole thing. I feel like this is, for some reason, actually shorter than most of the videos I've been posting lately. So I hope you enjoyed that if it's been overwhelming. In any case, don't forget to like and subscribe. I post videos uh, every Thursday about planner stuff and soon, I guess, about homeschooling stuff. So stay tuned for all of that. Have a really productive and great day and I will see you next Thursday. Bye.